If you go through this process building experimental and you go through your inspection, I'll tell you some of the key details that, uh, or basic details that a DAR uh, agent is going to look at. So for example, your stickers. So you've got to have your fuel stickers of the type of fuel this airplane uses. You see that big giant word experimental back there? You gotta have that and then also you need to have a sticker warning uh, for your passengers to let them know that uh, this is um, an experimental airplane, right? Like the FAA makes you do all these things with all these stickers. I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but I guess it's a liability issue. So if I, let me just hop in. We haven't installed the, uh, the um, step up for the wings yet. And even this, we gotta retighten it. But uh, let me just hop in here. So you've got a bunch of stickers in the interior. That's one of them where, you know, for the passenger warning. And uh, boy, this just, so this morning I got here like, it's at nine o'clock or so. Um, and the inspection didn't happen until like 11.30 or 12, but that gave us ample time to get everything set. So for example, the last couple of videos I mentioned, you know, when we started the plane for the first time, we had some leak and had to take care of that. That's so some of some of that down there. Um, we had something with the with the motor of the trim, so that was taken care of also. So all these things you need to take care of before uh, it's the, the plane gets inspected.